Hello and welcome to this video on the work of David Rennie, his approach to person-centred counselling and in particular his focus on work with the client's own process. The aim of this presentation is to describe David Rennie's approach to process work and then there'll be an opportunity at the end for students to apply Rennie's approach in triads. First of all, we'll acknowledge the source of these ideas. They can be found in Person-Centred Counselling, an experiential approach, published by Sage and written by David Rennie. An excellent book with great ideas inside. First of those ideas is the idea that when a client comes to counselling, their mission is to tell their story and to stay on track. Our mission as counsellors is to help the client to tell their story and to help them stay on track. Poor counselling involves asking questions, making observations, telling stories about our own experience that shift the emphasis from the client's story and causes the client to deviate from what they need, want to say about their own life and their own experience. Good counselling is that which helps the client to develop um, that story, to tell about their own experience and to stay on track. We can look at this in two ways. Staying on track involves using our paraphrasing, our reflections, or interventions to broaden the story that the, the client is telling and we call that horizontal development it's helping them to tell the narrative but we can also use our skills to uh, develop the story vertically in other words to go deeper into the experience and into the feelings and that can be very helpful for a client how do we help the client to uh, explore at greater depth their own experience well Rennie talks about reflexivity reflection that promotes insight and agency the idea here is that the client reflects on their material increases their insight their understanding and that leads to greater choice greater agency, greater autonomy and that is the outcome that we're looking for in counselling. How is this achieved? Well Rennie defines something called process. He says process is the activities in which clients engage as they work with their experience from moment to moment and what we need to be doing as counsellors is using our skills to help people reflect on their process and in particular there are two ways to do this first of all there is a, an approach called process identification and this involves keeping in mind the question what is my client doing now and then making observations that cause the client to reflect on their current process for example we might say to a client you smiled as you said that. Maybe that will encourage the client to identify some incongruence in the story that they're telling. We may say things like you're trying to make sense of that or as you remember that your eyes have filled with tears. Notice in that example we're staying with the experience and describing facts rather than making an interpretation. So we wouldn't say as you remember that you become upset because that word upset is our interpretation of what's happening whereas your eyes are filled with tears is an actual description of what we're saying the fourth example you're telling a story about how busy you are at work and I'm wondering how significant it is for you helps bring the client back into the room and into the here and now you know we all have clients who tell stories sometimes to avoid talking about the thing that's brought them to counselling 
and process identification can be a way of checking out that they're happy to do that, they're happy to tell that story and really kind of challenge them if you like and give them an invitation to talk about something that's more real and more fundamental to their concerns. So those are four examples of process identification in which we have in mind the question what is my client doing now? We then use our skills of reflection to uh, comment on the client's process in order to increase reflexivity for the client. The second approach that Rennie talks about is process direction, which is a direct invita invitation to clients to reflect on their process. So in this example, the counsellor says, you're smiling at that, which is process identification. The client responds and then the counsellor says, would you like to examine that for a moment? There's an invitation there for the client to focus on their process at that time on what it may reveal. And the result of that is vertical development. The client going further into their story and beginning to unpack the experience on which they're reflecting. So in this presentation, we've learnt about two approaches to increasing reflexivity for our clients process identification and process direction. You now have an opportunity to practice those skills and I'll really look forward to hearing your feedback.